Shalom friends, Chaim the Galilean here, Sea of Galilee behind me. Uh, we are in the middle of the ninth of Av, right? This day of tragedies to the people of Israel. We're in the ninth of Av war right now. Missiles are falling, rockets are being shot, barrages all over the land of Israel. Operation Breaking Dawn is underway where Israel is trying uh, the IDF, the Israel Defense Force, is trying to defend the defenseless and stop an onslaught, an onslaught of terror. It reminds me of May 2021 when we were able to help, uh, by the grace of God, these it rescue these families from around the borders, uh, uh, southern border. Uh, and you have places like like uh, Zderot, Beri, Nachal Oz, even Ashkelon, uh, even Ashdod, where, where they were under heavy, heavy fire. Uh, once again, I remember the kids. I remember, it wasn't that long ago, and the kids were so traumatized because of the attacks, the explosions, the panic attacks, uh, sirens going off all through the night. Kids couldn't sleep. They're wetting their bed because of panic, uh, sleepwalking, trying to get to crowd, overcrowded uh, bomb shelters. So guess what? It's like happening again, right? You know that Israel has uh, retaliated already. Uh, uh, Hamas's Al-Qaeda brigades have announced the death of one of their terrorist members, Ahmad Mohammed Afana from uh, Jabalia in Gaza and eliminated an airstrike. So Israel's trying to take out uh, the, the ones who are behind these attacks and take out these rocket launchers. You can see in the videos how rockets, though, are, are barraging Israel. Okay, now I know that there is a desire to make an, uh, uh, a ceasefire. Right, Egypt is saying, can we do a ceasefire? We're saying, can we do a ceasefire? Uh, Gaza, um, Hamas was going to try to say yes or something. It looks like a ceasefire will happen today. Uh, it sounds like it. Uh, and we're desiring for just for peace. And you look at the time we're in, the ninth of Av, okay? So many terrorists, so many rockets. And you say, God, why? God, why does this keep happening in this very day? Right, and I and I and I look at when even even Jerusalem is coming under fire, Tel Aviv, uh, Rehovot area, Rishon LeZion area, places that are right in the center of Israel under rocket fire. Now the Iron Dome is taking out most of them, but we've decided that it's time to show brotherly love, to show uh, patriotism, and welcome in any family who wants to, once again, like we did a year ago, we want to welcome in families that are running for their life to come to, we're going to open up every single available bed and they're, flo they're, they're on the way right now. <laughs> They're running for their lives. They're scared. Uh, you see fear in someone's eyes. It's scary. And, uh, and, and so we're going to bless them for free here. Thank you for your generosity in making this possible. Please do go and sow in right now to the good soil of the Galilee to be able to provide a comfort. Yes, comfort you, my people, Isaiah 40. Okay, so when I look at this day, and I want to look at this day really, really quick. We're in a time where the enemy wants to destroy Israel historically and in modern day, right? And why? Well, we know that God allows a shakeup to turn people to Him. What, what kind of shakeups? Well, we lost the first temple. Nebuchadnezzar II destroyed the first temple. Second temple destroyed by Titus, right? At this, at this very day, World War I, World War II, so many different things I could go into. But we know that this is a time where God says, I will bring the glory back. Right? I'll bring the glory back, His glory, back to Israel, like it was in the temple. Once again, that, that, that uh, seeking of His face will happen. So I'm believing that through all this still, I believe and can hope for God's glory to return as prophesied, as the Aliyah continues to happen. All right? What, what are we here for? We want to be able to be a blessing, to show a tangible uh, action of of if you have done this unto the least of these, my brethren, you've done it unto me, and show that people around the world care for Israel, don't just want to see Israel destroyed, but there are those who are righteous in the nations who stand for the destiny, both of Arabs and of Jews, the destiny of the, following the Prince of Peace. Thank you for being a blessing and for blessing Israel. And we're drawing a line in the sand. We're saying we will defend and comfort and protect any people who are running from the rockets. God bless you from the galley.